Welcome back, everybody. Okay then everybody, so it has been a moment since I've done a video on this channel, quite a while to be honest with you. There are quite a few reasons for this, you know, some of it is maybe I lost love for reacting a few years back, others is probably maybe COVID, uh, when COVID kicked in and all that kind of stuff, I was just trying to find other stuff to do apart from YouTube. And the other one is, is that I started working on other channels, those links to those channels will be in the comments down below. If you want to go and check them out, please feel free. One of them's a paranormal channel, another one's an exploring channel, which is a relatively new one. And there's one which is just me just going out, um, seeing stuff, exploring stuff, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so if you want to go over and check those channels out, please feel free. Um, you don't have to subscribe to them in any way, shape, or form. I'm just putting that out there and all that kind of stuff. But I have been sat on this channel which has got over 7,000 subscribers, and I've been sat on this for years and years and years and not really doing much with it. I've been making promises to say that I was going to come back, so on and so on and so on, and I haven't done that. And I feel now more so that I'm wasting an opportunity here because I have goals and I have dreams, I have things that I want to do in the future, and some of these things are going to cost me money. And I'm not going to hide the fact that I do YouTube to try and earn myself a little bit of extra money. Okay, I'm not going to hide it in any way, shape or form. That's why I do it. I generally enjoy reacting. And I do, and I never really made any money while reacting. But I just wanted to make myself a few extra pounds on YouTube. And it's become a little bit harder to grow on YouTube these days. But I've been sat on this channel with over a thousand subscribers. I'm like going, so what am I going to do with it? And the answer is, is I'm probably going to continue exactly what it was, uh, continue with what it was. But I want to also introduce the trailer reactions because I love movies, as you can probably see behind me, and I like doing movie reviews. I know it's not for everybody's cup of tea, the movie side of it, and I know a lot of people subscribe for the music reactions, but. I, I'm going to try and do a level, but I just wanted to put it out there. This is kind of the plan. Now, I I, I won't be able to react as much as what I used to. Um, I used to do like two or three videos a night at, at some points, especially in the height of doing this. So I can't do it as consistently as what I used to. But uh, music reactions don't take that long to do they don't take a huge amount of editing so i could probably do two or three of them in a week and possibly a move review and i probably do a maybe a weekly live and all that kind of stuff now i'm not i'll be i'll be honest with you again um i lost monetization on this channel and i'd like to get it back um and hence the reason why i want to try and bring in the move reviews and trade reactions and stuff like that some of my own content so i can actually make my own money because when you do a music reaction the people that own the music or whatever you earn from that they take them take the money which is completely fine i've got no problem with it at all but i want to try and bring up my own um kind of content so i can actually make my own money from my own content so i like to explore stuff i want to try and introduce that i won't introduce any paranormal stuff under this but like exploring stuff that's what kind of stuff i want to kind of introduce now the other part of this video, and I'm going to try. I'm trying to make this video as short as I possibly can. Is I was having a conversation with somebody two or three days ago, and he was an ad avid watcher of my channel when I was in like properly kind of going for it, like doing all these videos every day. And he asked me one simple question. He goes, "So what is what was your favorite reaction? What was your favorite piece of music that you listened to or reacted to when?" I was doing all the reactions. Now, knowing that I've reacted to Muse, Linkin Park, Pink Floyd, uh, Tool, uh, Dream Theater, Imagine Dragons, uh, there was there was loads that I was delving into towards the end and all that kind of stuff. It, it, brilliant, I think, as well, was in there. He said, what was the one reaction that, that you did which really stuck out? Now, I enjoyed lot of the music that I reacted to, some more than others. Now, I'm not actually going to tell you what this reaction is. I'm just going to show you it. 
Okay, I'm going to actually pull this video that I did. I know it was quite a few years back, but this video kind of really blew my mind and it opened up my eyes to a whole brand new genre of music. Okay, now for any of you, I, some of you will probably know what this reaction is already, um, but it's what blew this channel up and it did blow this channel up. So, on that note, okay, um, I'm hoping to do more videos on this channel in the future. I need, want, I would like to get it back to monetization. I would like to create my own content for this channel as well as do the music reactions and the movie reviews and stuff like that. It will not be as consistent as the way it used to be, but that is the intentional plan for this channel. Um, I do need your guys' help for this. I'm going to need you guys to share this about. I'm going to need you guys to comment, like this video. This is something, these are things that I don't normally ask um, my subscribers to do, but to get to where I want to be, the goals I want to have, to get this back to monetization and stuff like that, I have to be 100% open with you. Is that I want to get this back to monetization. I want to grow this channel and I need your guys' help. But as far as the reaction goes, the one reaction that stood out for me, which I still go back to and watch to this day every now and again, is this one. Have a great day, everybody. See you later. Bye-bye. Evening all. So I have another Pink Floyd reaction for you. And this one is The Great Gig in the Sky. Yesterday I did promise you another Pink Floyd reaction. And so here it is. Now, um... I'm generally really looking forward to reacting to this one. This one has popped up a lot in the comments. Um, and I've been kind of debating whether I, when I was going to react to this. And I thought, tonight is a good night. So, this is a first time listen for me. I have done my research. So, I'm going to press play. Generally, really excited. I am very much hooked to Pink Floyd.
Damn. Oh. Um. All right. <laughs> I'm actually speechless a little bit. Um. <laughs> okay. First of all, I know I've used this word before, and I'm going to have to use it again, and I'm sure this is not going to be the last time I use it either. That was very hypnotic, and very, very good to listen to. Very easy, oh god, that voice. Well, those le vocals. I had a chill going through me. That was, I'm going to say... Very, very beautiful. Now, I love that. <laughs> but, well, I still got chills and tingling bits still going through my body right now. Um, so when I was doing the research for this track, uh, before it even started, I knew it was a song of two halves. So the first half was going to be more uh, uh, angrier, uh, more intense kind of feel, and then the second half was going to be more of a gentler kind of feel anyway. That is um, what I was reading. So, I'm going to talk about the vocals first. I was going to go into the lyrics now, but I'm going to talk about the vocals. So, the vocals were from a woman called Claire Tory. Hopefully, I got that right. Um, now, I did expect some, like, lyrics in there, in this track. But just to have her do that was just, like, mind-blowing. To be honest with you, I, I really didn't expect it, and have that all the way through the track, mm -hmm. I loved that a lot. I really, really did love it a hell of a lot. That voice was almost, how do I put this? Oh, I don't know how to put it. I'm sure one of you guys know exactly what I'm thinking, but I oh, that was awesome, absolutely awesome. Now, the lyrics itself, uh, no, sorry, the song itself and what does it mean? So like I said, the first half had more of an angrier, more intense feel. And the reason for that is that this song is about life, about someone who's descending into death and basically with this dying, this dying person is refusing to pass. Sorry, I have bullet point notes here. Um, so that is in a more of aggressive tone. He doesn't want to go and he keeps refusing and keeps fighting to stay. And um, and it really shows that first half of that track, you can really feel the more angrier kind of feel to it. And you can, knowing that I knew what this song meant beforehand, it made a bit more sense to me. And the second half, like I said, is the more gentler side of this. So basically, this is the part where he basically starts to give in to the inevitable and basically fades away. Once again, in the vocal side of this, you get to experience that. Even though there's no lyrics in this um, in this uh, uh, song, sorry, there's you can still sense a story being told. And that's what I loved about it, because you, you, you get it, you get that angrier kind of feel in the beginning and you know that it's expressing something and then you get to the second half the gentler kind of feel to it and you know that <laughs> I admit that because I knew what this song was about before I did the re uh, before I did the reaction it, it was a bit easier to understand but generally it was you could feel it you know you could feel the story um, but really absolutely fantastic um so this was the song was also written by rick wright and and in an interview in march 1998 he said that basically the song he had a fear when sorry I'll re, i'm going to rephrase this is that he was saying that um one of the pressures of being in the band is with was with 
all the traveling, that constant fear of dying with all the plane travel and all the traveling on motorways in America, through Europe. And that was in a, um, an interview in 1998. Um, generally, as a whole, loved it. I know I've been rambling on there a little bit, but I do believe that was worthy of a little bit of rambling, to be fair. Very worthy. Very, very, very worthy. But all of that together, the, like I said, the vocals, the intense feel at the start, the not so intense feel at the second half, really made for a very, very, very enjoyable listen. So, on that note, please tell me what you think. Put it in the comments down below as normal. I hope you have a great rest of the day, whatever you're doing. Please take care and goodbye.